I am live. Okay, guys, I went through StreamYard instead of uh, Facebook, and I'm hoping it's going to show through Facebook, but I am not sure what that was just now. My overhead light's not open. My name is Holly Miller. I'm with Country Road Crafts, and tonight I'm going to try this again. This is take two. So I am going to show you guys what I did with a Memorial Day um, decor. Uh, the flag stencil is from Magnolia Design. I created a 2D image from Magnolia Design. Um, and then I put uh, foil on top of it to give it a little camouflage foil look. You guys can see that. So where should we see this? It is not I'm sitting here looking at it, Holly. You're watching the video from earlier is what you're looking at. Oh, now there's a third one. Hang on. You're watching the video. All right. Okay, guys. I'm a little confused about all this, but there's nobody on here yet, so I can actually crop it all out up to there. Good afternoon. My name is Holly Miller, and I'm with Country Road Crafts, and today I'm going to create this Memorial Day decor. And what I've done is I took a couple of different stencils, and this is the Distress Stencil from Magnolia Design. And I can't remember the name of these stencils, but it's from Magnolia Design, and I created a flat image with it. It's a uh, it, it's a laser cutout, and what I did was uh, put foil on top of that. I'm gonna show you guys how to do that. So, being in a memorial town or in a military town, Memorial Day is a little different than it was when I was a little girl and it wasn't near a base. Uh, when I was little, Memorial Day for us was just a day off of school and you know, go have a picnic. But here near, near a military town, Memorial Day is the day that you celebrate your friends or Whoa. your um, loved ones that have gave their life for the ultimate sacrifice of free for freedom. Um, and, you, and Memorial Day here is to memorialize that event in their life, not to thank a veteran. So, Hey Estelle, how are you? Sorry, I, I had some technical issues and oh, my camera wasn't working. <laughs> it's one of those days, but it's okay. We're going to go through this craft. Um, if you just got here, I'm going to say it again. Uh, going to do a craft for Memorial Day. It's the core, the stencil itself, uh, the back stencil is the distressed flag from, a more, from uh, Magnolia Design. And these cutouts I did from a stencil from Magnolia Design. And I did it... Uh, took a image and put it on the um, laser and had it cut. So, and then I foiled them. So that's what I'm going to do today. You can see that. So let's get started. I am well, Estelle, to get the computer to work and the internet to cooperate. It's right in here in North Carolina at the beach. And uh, I think everybody's on the internet. So it crashed for a minute. Oh yeah, I'm gonna do some foil. It's gonna be fun. So um, for now, right now, I've already placed the flag inside the box. I made sure all the, well, I thought I made sure all of the um, all of the bubbles were out of the stencil. So I took this and just rubbed it across it, made sure it was nice and tight to the board, and then I took my little. Um, brush and I got some this is paint this is not um the paste this is actual fusion mineral paint I'm using um four cure red and liberty blue so I added some paint and then I'm just going to dab it off offload it they call it and I'm just going to put a little because I just want the, the flag to be faint in the background and I'm just going to dab on some paint I don't want to get too much 
I could make the whole flag dark, but I don't really want it dark. I want it to be a little faint. I'm just gonna, just gonna tap it. I'm getting to like the flow more and more. The more I play with it, the more I love it. Um, and I'm gonna use it in this case tonight to make it look like um, camouflage, which is kind of cool. And if you hear a snoring dog over there, she's guarding. I think she's asleep now. <laughs> she fell asleep on duty. <laughs> she's over there snoring. So if you hear, just know that that's our blue. And she's on duty, but she fell asleep again on duty. <laughs> I like using the brushes instead of the um, actual um, the actual spatulas that come with it because I can get down in there a little deeper with the brushes. I just like brush. I just can't use those spatulas. I make a mess with the spatulas, but with the brushes I can control it a little more. Do the same thing with the blue, the Liberty Blue from Fusion. I'm just gonna offload it, and, and what I did at first was I sealed it. So I can have a good base um, so the paint wouldn't soak up into the wood. And then I put a uh, picket fence on top of that. So it's fusion picket fence to give it the white. And now I'm adding the red was Fork York red and the blue is Liberty Blue from both of them from fusion. And I will put the links for that in the um, comments when I'm done. And the stencil itself is from Magnolia Design. And it was actually a bigger stencil. I just took half of it. I didn't use the whole thing. Okay, I'm going to try to look this up. Hopefully it worked. I think I it. And I just wanted it to be faint. I didn't want it to be real dark. If you wanted it darker, and this is what I wanted. If you wanted it darker, you can just add more paint and it would be darker. But I wanted it faint. Just wanted a light. Huh? You got it. Well, that's what I wanted. My light just went out, but that's okay. <laughs> so hopefully the other one's still going. <laughs> okay, so that's that. And I'm going to put this side aside and do the foil. So for the foil, I got my cutouts, <coughs> and this cutout on this side, I already put the adhesive on. I've let it set to so make sure that it was uh, set up before I started to give it some time. And I'm going to go ahead and add the adhesive to the second one here. I'm just going to brush it on with a um, sponge brush. Um, I can get a, e a better even coat with a sponge brush rather than the um, paint brushes. With the paint brushes, I always get lines in it and it drives me crazy. So um, the sponge brush, the little sponge, I get these from, um, I think it's from Harbor, Freight. Harbor Freight. That's right. I'm cheap. But uh, it just makes it even. The paint brushes leave paint brush strokes in it and it makes it. I don't know, it just doesn't give me a complete image when I do that. If that's the look I want, cool, but usually I want it to fully cover it. And it just, you know, I like I like the complete coverage. I found that these little brushes do better for me. You do it your way, I'm going to do it this way. And if you're having a problem with the brush, with the actual paint brush, maybe try the, the sponge brush. Maybe that would help. Um, I'm just going to paint this on here. Just make sure it's good and covered. Make sure there's no openings. Make sure it's not too thick. My dog snored again. When's the Cleveland Hey. And from North Carolina. Yes, she was from Concord, actually. We talked earlier. 
That's the paint on the counter there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's for her aunt. Anne's gonna try out fusion. So what's the naughty thing about? I'm not sure if you hear Frank talking in the background, but what's uh, Whimsical Knotted? What does the Knotted about? He likes knots with Boy Scouts. Yeah, exactly, Estelle. If it doesn't go down, usually I go back and add more adhesive. I'm like, oopsie, I missed a spot. And I'll go back and add more adhesive. And then it doesn't even show that I did an oopsie because it covers nice. You're exactly right. But with me, you know, I was first trying it, I was putting a ton of adhesive down and with the brush and leaving strokes and it was driving me nuts. And then I eventually just sanded it all off and started all over again. But yeah. I had some technical difficulties in the beginning of this. So hopefully everybody's, I can see everybody. If not, if you're on Facebook and you're not on StreamYard, I'm sorry. I'm having issues tonight. Okay. No, you're getting it from Facebook. Okay, Frank said I'm showing on Facebook. This one I did about 20 minutes ago, maybe 30 minutes ago now since it took me so long to get online. This one I just did. So I need to wait a few minutes for this one. I'm going to go ahead and start on this one. So I just got a piece of foil. And I put the adhesive down earlier on this one. And all I'm going to do is try to get this on here. And I'm going to make sure I get it on here good. And I'm just taking this spatula, this, um, it's called spatula, scraper, whatever you want to call it. What did you call it? Bondo spreader. Oh, Frank says it's a Bondo spreader. I got this online. It's nice to use with, it's a felt on it instead of just plastic, it's felt. And I use it with the decoupage papers. I think I got this trick from... Uh, Roy Cycles and from um, Heather with uh, Grace on Design, and it works. So I'm going to make sure I get it all down. And after I get it all down, I'm going to take a brush. I just had it in my hand. Uh oh. I sit down. Give me a second. Give me a second. Right there. Mm -hmm. Little fingernail brush. I just had it. It's green. It's like this big. This big. I, I, I got it. See right here. I told you I had it. This thing. It's a fingernail brush. I use it to clean my nails. It's awesome. I, I got another one. I, it's awesome to put this down and make sure it's in the cracks good. And it's got a bubble right there. You guys see that right there? I'm going to fix that. Yeah, instead of crochet needles for one to clean up. That she might like. Oh, that is right. You did. Did you, did you turn them yet? It's turned, yeah, it's up from the Frank does wood turning, and he actually has, um, he actually does, he has a, um, the bowl. What is that called? Have a yarn bowl. Yarn bowl, yes. Oh, hand. It's yeah. kind of cool. I didn't know anything about a yarn bowl until our son asked him to do one for his fiance at the time, because she likes to knit. I never heard of it before, so That's I got about the uh, hooks that interchange with the handle. Oh, the crochet hooks. Again. Okay, so I I made it all down. It's all tight. It all looks like it's in there. So I'm gonna lift it. See what if I've got it in there. And the look I was trying to achieve, if I don't get stuck to the other one, it's like a camouflage look, a, a golden camouflage look. And you guys can see when I pull it back. Oh, yeah, that looks nice. There's a, see right there where I missed it a little bit? I don't know if you guys can see that. See it? I just didn't get it down real good. So I'm going to lay it back down and just take the brush. And if it doesn't go in again, I can go back and brush the adhesive on it. So that just means I didn't get enough adhesive on it, which is not a huge deal. Yeah, see, I just didn't get it down good. It's just lifting up. Just making sure as I'm lifting that I got, I touched all the spots. You can see that. And I'm trying to think of ideas. I have stuff laying around. I just, I don't want to do the same thing everybody else does. I want to do just a little bit more. And this 
we were sitting here talking one day and I'm like, oh my goodness, I can do that. I have these laying around. And I cleaned my office a little bit. Don't look at my office, but I did clean a little bit and I found them. These were from last year. So I was thinking about this project sort of kind of last year. And then I found these wooden things laying around. I was like, oh my goodness. I don't know if you guys do that or not, but I do it all the time. Start a craft and forget what I was doing. <coughs> and then uh, today I couldn't find them. I can't believe that. So I have to come up with a better system of labeling my crafts and what they're for. Because <laughs> I'm terrible. So what I'm doing is just trying to make sure I have enough of the foil. You guys can see. see where it's lifted. And right, right here is a little piece. I don't think that's sticky. And then right here on the gun. You see that? It's not really sticky right there. But it's sticky on that tip, so I'm going to go back and see if I can get that tip stick. And right here, I'll have to put more, more adhesive. Ann asked, how did you make the uh, cuts? How do I? Oh, uh, I took Magnolia Design. It has a stencil. And um, I took a picture of them and had my, like, to help design them, but I had a friend uh, print them on the, her laser printer. One of these days, I'm going to figure out my CNC and I'll be able to cut them myself, but right now, I had to do a laser because I haven't figured out how to cut small cuts like this with my CNC, but I'll get there. Um... I don't know if you, anybody was on here earlier, but I was talking about the reason I'm doing the memorial uh, decor is because we are in a military town. And when I was a kid, I wasn't in a military town and I was Memorial Day to, back home was just uh, to have a picnic and a day off school. But down here in a military town, it's, it means a lot different for me now. Um, it means to memorialize someone's life because they gave their life. For my freedom um i work on base my husband's a uh he was a marine he's always a marine his buddies are marines and uh they did stuff you know sometimes they give in their life for for our freedom and i don't think they get enough respect for that but anyways that's another topic so these areas here i'm gonna actually add a little more adhesive and let's sit to the side my light's going to die on me. It's okay. It got back up. And Frank just, <laughs> Frank just, oh, your husband's a Marine. Cool, Estelle. Um, what are you doing in the Marine Corps? Frank was a combat engineer, is a combat, was, is 1371. When I met Frank, I asked him what he did. He said he builds stuff and blows it up. I thought that was cool. So, uh. I thought that was cool. I had no clue. I had no clue. Oh, cool. Your husband was in the Army and your son's in the National Guard and military is special to them, too. Uh, in the jungle. And the, oh, cool. Yeah. Well, I mean. Wait a minute. Yes. But cool that they, they understand where I come from. Those deployments were hard. My brother in law was a Marine in Vietnam. Uncle Hal was recon. Okay, I've got the adhesive on it, uh, the extra swats. Now, the thing with this, I put the adhesive on it. Um, make sure it got on the hat right there. Um, it'll cover. Uh, when I put the adhesive back down, lift it back up, it'll just cover those spots that doesn't have foil already. And this one here needs to sit for a little bit longer because I just did it a few minutes ago. It needs at least the adhesive needs to set like 15 minutes for it to set. So you can, um, so you can, so the uh, foil will adhere to it. I still said that her, yeah, okay, cool. Later after Vietnam, very cool. Cool. Was Frank, he a Paris Island or was he a Hollywood Marine? <laughs> Not sure if they understand what that means. Frank is helping me today, so um, I can't I can't seem to do two things at once. I don't know if y'all know me, but uh, I get lost in the sauce sometimes. 
I'll move these up so they don't yeah. And what I'm gonna do is take these and I'm just gonna glue these. These here I did earlier and I'm gonna glue them down. So I'm gonna place them. This one might be a little bit darker than the other one. What do y'all think about the, how that's like, you guys can't see the whole thing. How's that looking there? Does that look okay? Is that too high? Come on the rifle to your to the center more. To the center more. Here? Yeah. Like that? Yeah. I try to bring the other one off the wall too. Just up a little bit, maybe? Well, bring it towards the center so that it's not touching the wall. Okay. okay. How's that look, guys? Okay. So I'm gonna try to get them in that spot and glue them down. That's all the glue I'm going to use. That is all the glue I'm going to use for now. Do you want me to brush it on? Is that what you're saying? No. I just didn't have a lot of left without glue. Well, I'm going to actually, after everything's said and done, I'm going to resonate so that I'll actually hold them down. I just need them to hold in place where the blue glue is going to dry on me this time. I'm going to have to pick it back off. <sighs> Issues, guys. Like I said, I can't do two things at once. There we go. So after all this is set and after I get everything where I want it, I'm actually going to take it and put resin on it. I won't be able to put resin on it tonight because it takes a minute. I will uh, take a video of the resin for it when I'm the one on it. But I want it to be kind of shiny in the shadow box. Okay. I've got little strings all over it. Estelle said that's good. <laughs> Thank you guys. Let that set for a second before I move it so the glue doesn't so the glue does adhere. My luck, I'll move it and it'll fall off and then <laughs> I have to start all over again. Okay, I think they're stuck. Okay, that's this part. These aren't quite done. The um the tran the uh, foil stuff. So I'm actually going to go ahead and go to the next part real quick, and I'm going to paint the dog tag. So here's my dog tag. I painted it little lamb just to give it a base coat, and I'm going to put silver on it. This is silver metallic from Fusion Mineral Paint. And you just got me a brush. And I'll do it right there. Oops. And I just want to cover this with this fusion. Just got all of my finish. Okay. And what I'm going to do now is just paint this on here. Just give it a little bit of metallic look. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to try, after it dries, to write, um, what did I say? Some gave all, or all, all gave some, time. but some gave all. Yes, that's what I'm going to put. If I can remember what I'm writing, what I was going to write. Just going to add some metallic to it, because I want to give it a metallic pewter look. I know it's metallic silver. That's why I darkened it up the background a little bit. I don't know if you guys remember dog tags. Frank said he's not even sure if they do it anymore. But when he was in, he had to wear his dog tags 
around his neck for his uniform. And our daughter would grab them off. <laughs> she was little. It's covering it just drying really fast on me. For one, it's kind of hot in here. I think it's the first time we turned the air condition on down here. I know we had it on upstairs. <laughs> it's got, it's raining earlier and it's humid and ugh, it just got stuffy. Gonna make you cry. I'm sorry. My babies. And she's 26 and my, our son is 23. So, <laughs> and she was down for two or three days and they're coming down tomorrow for me. So. Yes, that's what it is. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you, Ann. <laughs> You're, that's what I'm going to write on it. She wrote it out. All gave some and some gave all. Yes. Then this right here. Okay. I think that's dry. I think it's what's looking kind of weird. Okay, that's that piece. Okay, I think the other one should be ready by now. Actually, this piece ain't quite finished because the light's hitting it different ways, and I'm like, it's not finished right there. <laughs> Messing with me. Frank's laughing at me because he was going to say something. I know, wasn't you? Wasn't you? You gonna say something? <laughs> the thing about the metallics is they dry really quick. They have a really short open time. I put some fusion extender in it to try to give it a little bit more. Uh, it doesn't dry so fast on me. Um, sometimes I have a hard time with it and sometimes it's pretty good, but the extender helps. It's just like in a, just in a bottle like this, you just add a couple of drops. Which is what I'm going to do right now. Okay. Just going to set up real quick. It just gives it a little more, a little longer open time on it. See? It's a little smooth. I use that extender for when I do paint pours a few. There we go. Y'all just learned a trick. <laughs> you can use that uh, extender with regular paint. Um, I use it when it's hot outside and I'm outside painting, but I usually don't use it on the inside too much. But this metallic drives really fast. And I'm underneath the the um, lights and it's a little, the weather's weird. All that takes an effect on my paint. Okay. It's drying. That's dry. That's painted. But it's dry. Okay. Okay, Estelle, you can watch the replay and see what it looks like tomorrow when you're done. Good night. Okay, here's this one. And I'm going to just going to try to add this down to it. And I'm taking the um, felt tip spatula and then just kind of smooth it around. 
try to get out to make sure. You know, well, it doesn't really matter with the foil if there's air bubbles. Whatever, if whatever amount of adhesive that you've got down is going to stick. Um, the thing about the adhesive is you want it to go on smooth. And I use this um, sponge brush because when I use a regular paintbrush, it leaves a lot. And it drives me crazy. So it works better for me to use a sponge brush. Okay. And then after I use that uh, felt tip spatula, I use this. It's just a little fingernail brush. I actually got this at Dollar Tree. Um to try to smooth it out and get it all in the cracks. Like the other one has cracks. This one doesn't have any whole lot. I don't think it has any cracks on it, but any, um, uh, like the little lines. Yeah, and no texturing on this one. That one does. But I still want to make sure it's down good and make sure it has good adhesion and make sure it has good contact. It's just. Pull it back, you can see. And the goal was uh, this is called weathered copper. And the goal for me on this was to make it um, a shiny um, camouflage. See right there, I missed it. If there's foil down and it doesn't adhere, you could put it back down and try to pull it, you know. Pull it back and it'll it'll adhere. If you don't have enough adhesive down, it will not adhere. Sorry, I can't talk and do. I try to do it all, and I concentrate and then forget to talk. And <laughs> y'all have questions? Let me know as I'm doing this. I think I have a couple of extra men. Uh, I don't. Well, actually, I have extra boots. I don't know if I have any extra men, but I can make some if you guys want some. Um, I'm not sure what the material cost is, but I can figure it out. And the shipping, it would probably be like five bucks for the shipping, I'm sure. And so she's never seen this technique before. Oh, sure. yeah. This is called foil. And um, I not as experienced as foil. Um, we went down to 44 Marketplace Creative Finishes class in 2020, and Frank actually did a piece with the foil, and I wasn't sure about it. It took me a little bit to get to where it works for me, um, but the key is the adhesive and getting that equal amount down and just find the tricks. Every I think all the stuff, whatever works for you best. Like when I do stencils, it's best for me to use a brush. I can't use the little scrapey things, little spatulas. Is that down good. And see right here, there's a couple of spots that I missed. So I'm just gonna lay it right down and see. I may not have got enough piece of right there, but I'm just gonna try to make sure I got it in that. No, nope, I think I didn't get adhesive there, so I can go back on that. What in the world is he doing? You guys, you guys. So add some, add a little bit more adhesive here, little adhesive here. What you doing? Well, yeah, like her mama. 
Yeah, my puppies are crazy like the mama. Okay, so I'm gonna set this back up here. Actually, I didn't get enough on that. I'm gonna push them back up there. It takes about 15 minutes for the adhesive to do what it needs to get to do to make sure it sticks. So I'm gonna actually do a little bit more for those on the side. Here, a little bit right there. I usually go live on Fridays, but we had a few things going on and we had a um, one of our daughter's friends recently passed and I'm not very good at funerals, so I just took it the day and decided it's best to do it another day. And we knew him from band boosters when they were in school and then um, when he was around town, he always spoke to us. So. It's hard to see a little uh, young, young. He was probably what, 35, Frank, maybe? Uh, 31, 31 or 32. And he had a medical condition. And um, he passed Sunday. His birthday is our daughter's birthday, but he's just a little bit older than her. Um, oh, five years, Frank says. Five years to the day. Yeah. Very sad. So you see with the spots that I had before where it wasn't sticking, I just add the extra adhesive and now it's sticking. So what I'm doing now is just going back and getting those spots where I put the extra adhesive, uh, just making sure that I've covered it good because I don't want any of the wood to show through. It's dark. It's supposed to be camouflage. It's not going to hurt it, but my brain says I need it covered. So guess what? It's going to be covered. Shiny, so this is green. It's not. It's green. Okay. It's not sticky. No, but right there is still pieces. Okay. How's that look, guys? So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take it and I'm going to take my brush and I am going to dust it out of the of the of the um where it was uh etched a little bit so i'm just going to get it out so i'm just going to take my brush and i'm just going to lightly brush it over and try to open up some of those lines which is kind of cool you guys can see it coming to life just gets it out of the cracks a little bit kind of cool gives it a definite 3d look 
Now the other one doesn't have the etching to it. It was the flat, so it won't have the detail as this one has. But I am just going to brush the um, foil out of the etching. And the etching was black, so you can see how that looks. I didn't get it all out right here yet, so you can see. And again, the color is a uh, weathered copper. So, you know that? Got the, the helmet. So, I think I got it all out. Cool. All right, so it's been a few more minutes, so I'm going to go ahead and try and get the rest of this one done. Thank you, Anne. When I'm done with the the other one, I will dust it off just to make sure there's nothing hanging on it and no uh, rough edges because I like it to be smooth and like right there, it's lifted a little bit. I'll just dust it off a little, but that's just because I got it down a little bit. It ain't going to hurt anything, but I'm just going to dust it off to clean it up. And then tomorrow I'll do, I won't do a live on it, but I'll do a video when I do the resin pour. Because I want it to be kind of glass like in the um, shadow box. I'm just going to dust him off and get all the extra, all the cracks around the gun and around his feet to make sure it's all smooth. And he doesn't have any um, etching, so it's going to be just a flat image. doesn't have the etching, although I missed the place right there. You can see that in the video. Let me try to get that right there. Okay. So I got these two pieces. And I'm going to go ahead and glue this on to the other board. It should be dry. And this one is a little lighter than the other one, but that's what I was trying to get the flag, the distress flag in the background. No, the, the flag is just dressed a little. I didn't put as much uh, paint on this one as the other one. Is that okay right there? Does that look good? Yeah. Okay. Bring the hand down a little bit. Okay. That one, my blue gun not work right. You turn off? Yeah. <laughs> I have to wait for the glue to warm up. <laughs> nope. And then I'm gonna, while the glue is warming up, I'm gonna do this other piece. And 
I'm going to try to write pretty on this. And I'm going to write all gave some. She had it right down. All gave some, some gave all. So that's what I'm going to write. I'm going to try. Okay, this would be. I should have just seen a dog hair. Wonder who's that might be. Blue. <laughs> okay. So you're going to put the dog tag in one of the two? Hmm? You're going to put the dog tag in one of the two? For now. I'm going to cut another one. I wanted to try to cut one on my CNC, but you know how good I am at that. And I had to update my software today. And it just wasn't working for me. So I have a CNC. I'm going to engrave another dog tag for the other box. I'm gonna have two boxes. The flag was a design from Magnolia Design, uh, the stencil, and it's called the stress flag. There's another piece to it, but I didn't use the whole piece. And I can't remember the name of the soldier. Uh, I can't remember the name of the stencil I got this idea from. I'll have to look it up. I'll put it in the comments afterwards. I think she said she had it. Do you have this one, Anne? I can't remember. Maybe it was uh... Estelle, Estelle might have it. I, she went to bed. That would be helpful if I show you guys what I'm doing. I'm just put glue on the back of this to get the hold down. Tomorrow I'm going. To... Oh, good. Do you know the name of it by chance? I don't remember the name of it. But I took a picture of it and we did a flat image and we put it on the, um, I think she had a glow for it. I think it's what it was. It was some kind of laser. Yes. Yeah, so this is a lady that bought your bowl. She was actually in Maine. We talked through it. Oh, yeah. I try to talk with different folks, learn different things. Um, so there's my thing and I'm going to actually clean up the edges. I don't know if you see that. I'm clean up the edges and I'm going to put um, SFO from Fusion to stain finish it oil. I'm going to finish it up with, um, I think I'm going to do it in uh, uh, driftwood. So um, I will post the finished project. I use a combination of Magnolia Design and the Essential Stencils because Liz. Um, which I know you, I think you're watching Liz's live last time. Uh, she uses essential, essential stencils and she makes it look easy. <laughs> and I just like to learn all this new stuff. So I'm just trying. I think it's cool to use the different mediums. So there's my project for tonight. If you're interested or have any questions, let me know in the comments. And um, I will post pictures of the finished, finished project tomorrow or Monday. I've got to do that resin for and it's going to take just a few minutes. Uh, to steer it up. But I will, I will do a video of it and then I'll just post it. Um, it won't be tonight. I'm not going to post anything else tonight, but I will post it soon.
and um, come back with us next Friday at 6.30. Um, I'll be ready for something else. Let's see what we're doing. Thank you, guys. Have a great day. Wonderful party.